using STL stock for verification. In this case, I have multiple operations side one, side two, side three, side four operations. We'll just show you the back plot real quickly on that. So you can see I have multiple operations one side there, multiple side there, across the top. So, of course, in that case, before I start anything, I'm going to make sure that my stock is all set up in my standard stock for my first operation on that. Looking for rectangular stock, selecting corners, this position, this position in 3D space, setting that up. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually verify this to start with. My verify over here. I'm actually going to speed this up a little bit by increasing the move refresh rate to 100. I'm going to verify that my tool color change is there and in this case we're going to use box the box shape being from the standard use stock setup values in that case and we're going to run through real quick it's going to go ahead and run through this you can see through it's running through the top running through multiple pockets and an actual angle operation so we'll go ahead and save that is our first stock setup on that? And I'll say uh, stock rough one. And save that. Close here. Now I should be able to going ahead and closing past the roughing. We've roughed several operations on this part, as we saw side operations, things like that. Coming back now, we actually have a finished top area. So if I want, I can go back into here and actually just picking that and verify just that. Going into my verify, I'm going to use file. Going back to there, stock rough one as we still opened earlier. Ahead, looking at everything else is good there. And we'll go ahead and run with this real quick. using the process of 100 actually being able to sustain multiple accesses compared to uh, Turbo Verify won't work in other accesses. Letting it run through here. Okay, as we can see now, we've gone through several minutes of uh, verification on this from the roughing to a finished detail on that probably to save myself some time on the next one is I'm going to start to do some angles and everything. We'll go ahead and actually save this as another file. We'll say at the uh, fin we'll say uh, semi finish one. So we'll save this. We'll call it uh, stock fin dash one. Save that saving it into the directory that I'm using with so I have another updating the file as we move along. In this case, let that save. Alright, now we've got that saved. We'll go ahead and remove out of that. Let's look at where we're sitting at this particular time. We can see I'm actually coming from a lower base here. Should be able to orientate that using my work coordinate system. Let's see, I think the next one is 30 to 32 degrees finish. So let's see if I actually have that. Looks like a 32 degree finish right here. Set that up. Isometric. Coming from the back plane here. Okay, so we have the uh, 32 degrees. We have coming from the back edge here, as we can see, orientation on that. And we're going to go ahead and verify. The 32 degrees, we have op 2. We even have an actually an op 3. It's so a 32 degrees. Why don't we go ahead and grab those two? In that case, and we'll go into the verify. And this time we can see we still have our semi rough before. In this case, I'm actually going to go and grab our other stock file that we actually created, being that the stock finish one. 
let's go ahead and set that open okay as we can see now we have our stock finished area from before on that and at the 32 degrees I haven't changed anything about the W except for the WCS to orientate that we actually changed that we saw that and it should come in here and machine some of this area down here so we're gonna go ahead and let that run through starting there we'll take a second here's our tool let that run through in this case run through a couple of seconds of that one should come in with a smaller tool pick out some more detail actually as you can see at this time I actually pause that for a second as we can see that the actual tool the secondary angle was actually a positive return back in a different angle so the block was rotated in another direction and it's actually cutting this back area here as we can see coming in there and machining off where it needs to make these walls thin on that still using the same STL but of course uh, separate WCS's um, the first one here being a looks like a positive 32 degrees no this is negative 32 degrees and then a positive 32 degrees on the secondary one being an op 3 so it rotated the other direction so it can finish inside the one wall here and come back in the secondary wall still using everything from the original WCS that it was set up to start the initial block but using the STL verify uh, using the STL as our verify file okay as we can see now we've actually uh, finished off this area in here in this pocket in this area off in this pocket using this actual uh, file at this time alright now we've got this let's go ahead and go to a view next view being side view let's say here we go let's go ahead and say op4 side 1 I'm going to right click with this in isometric. So, in this case, we can see that the part's going to actually lay in this plane. So, we're using this particular view and backplot that thought real quickly. Just let that toolpath come through there. See that we go in and we clean up some of this detail around the framing area. Okay, now we've reviewed that. Let's go ahead and once again using the verify. As we can see the file is still sitting in the orientation. You can actually rotate that a little bit there. View that some of the finished passes that are in there. I'm going to go ahead and put this back here. Orientation we want. So that we can actually start the verify here. Now we can see the tool coming into this orientation we have to reach it moved and changed the work coordinates WCS access uh, we'll let that run through for a moment and then we'll go back and look and see where the datum we saw the datum was coming from another corner maybe the upper left hand corner in this case so let's let this run through for a minute so as we can see here now we actually go ahead and machined one side of the part and stop that. We can now go back over to View Manager, look for the secondary op 5 side. Look how that part sits up. Looks like it's over there. I'm going to go ahead and say isometric. We can see that it actually flips to the other side and resets that one. And our last set of tool paths over here on that. And we should be able to set this for verify. We can see the part now. It's actually laying in that view. It's already machined this side. It's already machined the other side. Once again, we've reset up the orientation of the WCS to view it and see how physically you can see that our STL stock is following still from the original in this case. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. As we can see, toolpath, same type of a toolpath pretty much. Coming across, finishing up the detail. Let 
that run through for a moment. Letting the part cut along. You can see it's still removing some material from the higher area. Doing a little finish pass along this back side wall here. Start to blend the shape together. As we can see over here, using a half inch ball end mill. Let that continue to resume. You can see the smaller tool coming in there and actually making a cleaner blend between the fillet area on that. So still using multiple tools along that plane. Just rotate the part a little bit and orientate from a different view for visual. So you can see now we've gone ahead and finished off this side detail and claimed the cut down so far before the ass part of the actual part is cut out. Being able to use the original STL and follow that view along, see we're able to remove and clean up and go around and actually continue through the different uh, work coordinates. In this case, as we can see, from one side to the other side to remove the part. And I'll show you the exact finished part. One second here. This is what the finished part is supposed to look like. Created the parting lines and everything. It was basically defines of the first part that you saw being the actual size of the actual stock that was used. This outer detail here on that. Added some parting lines, parting surfaces to actually give it cart cutting edges along that. So you can see some details, some surface areas. So we we'll support it while cutting the part. I think this should give you an idea following that the uh, using the verify using STL is your uh, stock will follow along.